Blessed be the name of our Maker, Jesus Christ, who has sustained us to this end. Well, as per se, according to the Kingdom and the revelation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, am I called in this studio? Well, before you in Exodus, here at Exodus 20 TV, is not other than the servant of God by grace, Joram Monani. Well, the Word of God is also reminding me and reminds us that His gifts and callings are without repentance. Well, last time when I was in this studio, I was talking about worship and the Word of God helps us to understand worship in a clear way. As I can recall, the Word of God says that when we worship God is that we adore Him. And also it is that we give him reverence with singing and with praises and also in having the vision or having the liberation or having to mention his works in uplifting his holy name and appreciating each and everything that God has created and also the ability that is given us as human beings. Hallelujah. So when I, I spoke this word of God, when God gave us this word, it helped me and it has inspired me more powerfully, even to understand His Holy Scriptures more than I ever before. Blessed be the name of our God and King. So I felt the urgency of uh, just continuing from there, God leading me, God helping me, so that we might be, so that we be inspired by the word of God and we overcome all the works of the enemy. So I want to begin first with a word of prayer, thanking our God and our Maker for giving us such a wonderful opportunity such as this. Well, it's quite a wonderful thing. Well, at times you found that uh, we Christians, you see us calling upon God, others I open, and sometimes sitting down or kneeling or anything. But when it is caused, when we look at the Word of God, it teaches us how to pray. And in most instances, you will not hear that when the well, Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was playing, that you hear that He closed His eyes. You will hear that He looked up to heaven and prayed and blessed and called upon our, our Father and our God. Hallelujah. It's quite wonderful when we see this. So, when you see us, Christians, praying and shutting our eyes, it is a sign that we don't want any obstacles safe putting all our faith and our meditations and vision to our Maker. We remove the instructions that are before our eyes. So, when we call upon God in heaven, when we call upon God where His presence through His Holy Spirit is with us, there is a way that the Spirit of God guides us and leads us to pray. So, let's not be judgmental or analytical according to human standards or human's, human understanding. He's such a wonderful God and faithful God. Well, let me also remind everybody about this studio. This studio, is Exodus 20 TV, is located in Capo County. Well, and when we are, view, we, we, we are airing our, our programs on this station, we are yelling them on, ex, uh, on, on Facebook, then we share on other, other, other channels or other network, network like they, let me say for instance, Instagram and uh, Over Truth YouTube. So it is so good to understand the way we are. We are living in this time when we don't see any shortcoming when this gospel has touched many souls and we have received testimonies that God is touching people 
and delivering people from the works of darkness and of the enemy that God is healing people through this station, through this social media. He's saving many and he's also making many gifts to shine for people who are willing to minister the word of God. For at CC, a person like me, and I began to come here in, in the studio and today if any individual has been following us, he has noticed gradual change and also a quick running and a quick change to glorify our Lord and Savior when we preach this gospel of our new of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. When we see how God is renewing our life and turning us from evil, then we appreciate him, we adore him, we worship him, we worship him for having given us this ability and this revelation. He's so faithful that called us. Well, when we look at the way we used to praise here, the way we were praised here, life praise, life worship, you see that we are growing from that level to another level. Blessed be the name of our King. Let me first call upon heaven as I proceed. Father, I thank you for your goodness and your care. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for having changed our lives. Thank you for the way you have elevated us from the level we were of loneliness to where we are, Lord God. Thank you that you are uplifting our standards. Thank you for Exodus 20 TV, that we are not where we began. Thank you, Jehovah God, for your turning around the lives of many. You are saving, you're saving souls from the enemy and saving souls from hell and bringing us to the everlasting kingdom to glorify you, holy name that is more powerful than the name of man, that the word that a man can, an individual can speak. Therefore, Lord Jesus, do I glorify your name. And pray, Lord, that the words I speak here be for the elevation or the manifestation of this everlasting kingdom. O oh, Father, to touch many and deliver many from sin and the bondage of Satan and to be set free according to the reward and according to your power in faithfulness in Jesus' great and mighty name, I pray that you trust in and believe in. Amen and amen. I feel humbled to have been given the access to call upon God, the Lord of heavens of heavens, to call upon our powerful God who created us. I want also to glorify Him in His ways and in His word according to the measure that he has given unto each and every one as the ability and the grace and the knowledge and the understanding as we pray that God increases in understanding and in wisdom in all works to glorify his holy name. Well, I want to say that everybody and I want to thank each and everybody that watch and also comment those of the saints that we do fellowship there with at Banalahe Baptist Church and I say that we take nobody for granted. I want to thank each and every soul and, and, and person that has called upon heaven for the blessings and for the kingdom to prevail through this social media. I want to thank God for you. I want to say may God become a blessing to each and every individual who has become a blessing to us. Well, I was speaking about how God has brought us step by step and how we have been growing gradually and also how the studio has been growing. While we use the technology that has been made by the wisdom and the cleverness of men and the knowledge of men, but God has used people to make it stand. May God bless each and every one, every technician that has done any technical work to approve this studio and this station. While people might wonder why do we not ask for any help or any financial help directly or, or practically coming and begging, but we only believe in God and we call upon God who has brought us to this far and to this end. There's nothing good than to testify about how we have overcome 
many trials and temptations and obstacles so that we will continue becoming more powerful and more glorious for the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If we have any pride or we, we are proud of anything, it is because Jesus Christ has made us so, not for our own glory, save the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. While when I speak the word of God today, I would like to continue with the same, as I had said earlier, the word or the week of worship. How do we worship our maker? Well, if I can recall, according to the word of God as I am recalling right now, is that we worship God also with what we possess or in material things. If God has given me money, and I give the money to do the work of God, to save a, a, a hungry soul, to save the sick, or one who needs medicine or anything, or one who is waddling somewhere, then I am worshipping my maker, but not making a name for myself. And when I do the act of goodness without making the other individual know when I'm doing this act, I got this inspiration even today when we were having the church service. The one I love this church, it is quite a wonderful place, richness in this world and in his glorious kingdom. Oh Father is so our oh, God and Father is so wonderful who has given us his house, even the house of prayer, where we worship him continually. Well, well, I want to continue again to read this one. Let me refer to my notes here as I proceed. I am going to first read in the book of Isaiah the prophet, the 12th chapter, and uh, from, let me say, from verse 5 or so. Well, God is so faithful that has given us this powerful word. Well, I guess... I will begin from verse 1 and I will read until the last chapter. God is so faithful and so wonderful. The Word of God is telling us a day is coming when people will sing. Hallelujah. A day is coming when people will sing. I praise you Lord. You were angry with me. But now you comfort me and I'll angry no longer. Hallelujah. Well, when this song has had been sung previously and for this prophecy is not for this near years or near ages, it is more than one thousand, more than one thousand years old, that people had been singing that God was angry with them, but now he is no longer angry. Well, this time when this prophecy was being written, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ had not been, had not come on this planet, was not born on this planet. So, when God by the time was angry with the creation and many people, and earth, the servant of the Lord, Prophet Isaiah, was given this revelation. So today, we always say that we praise our God who has given us comfort and also who has saved us from sin. He is no longer angry with our life, but he's also always willing to remit our sins and also know our weaknesses where he shared in this body in everything. So we glorify God and say our God is faithful and he's also not angry with us forever. He has sustained us to this end. Hallelujah. Verses number 2 of the book of Isaiah the prophet, chapter 12, verses number 2. God is my Savior. I will trust Him and not be afraid. The Lord gives me the power. God, the, the Lord gives me power and strength. He is my Savior. Hallelujah. When we say in this verse that God is our Savior, that He has saved us from the destruction of the enemy, 
He has saved us from ailments and sicknesses. He has made us remnant in this pandemic time. Even this pandemic time of COVID-19. That he has brought a liberation to savers from evil and from the enemy. Hallelujah. So God has given us the power to overcome obstacles. The power to overcome sicknesses. The power to overcome trials and temptations of the enemy. The power to deliver many souls from hell. The power to create the environment of God where we walk, where we are, where we meet with our friends, in our families, in our neighborhood. When we stand up to worship and praise God in the churches, when we say, God, you are worthy, you are holy, when we cry upon heavens and heavens, when we cry and shout for joy, then God is changing lives. God who has empowered us so straight, who has given us some salvation so rich and free. What a wonderful God we serve. Well, uh, let me lead uh, the next verse, verse number three. As fresh water bring, brings joy to the dusty, so God's people rejoice when He saves them. Hallelujah. So, when you have been dusty in a sunny day, in a weary day, when you have done so much work, when you were ill and sick in hospital, and you go the water that you drank of the water that quenched your dust, then the feeling, hallelujah, blessed be the name of God, you felt is a illustration or an explanation that God has given us his word, his spirit that quench our dust, hallelujah. So that we cannot dust after material things, after things that are expiring. We shall not dust after any temporal things that is not forever. But we shall hunger and dust after righteousness. We shall hunger and dust after the kingdom. For we know God will quench our dust as he's quenching all us today when he hurts us through the elements of this world. When he supports us and gives us strength. And also, supply and truly, it's what a wonderful God we serve. Hallelujah. Well, I want also to continue to the other verse. For God has helped us and also is able to quench our dust. Verse number four, it says, A day is coming when my people will see. Give thanks to the Lord. Call for him to help you. Tell all the nations what he has done. Tell them how great he is. Hallelujah. So when we stand here, hallelujah, when we stand and we come together in church, when we are worshiping God and praising him, as in this, as in Exodus 20 TV, when we proclaim the goodness of our Lord and Jesus Christ and Savior Jesus Christ, when we say that we have been given the liberty, when we say that we have been given a kingdom, when we speak about the kingdom power, when we speak about the delivering power, when we speak about the sustaining power, when we speak about his grace and his testimonies, then the power of God and the ways of God and we see is reaching all the nations and when they hear and receive this holy warning of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The word of God is telling us also in the next chapter, in the next verse of the same same chapter. Sing to the Lord because of the great things he has done. Let the whole world hear the news. Hallelujah. Verses number six. Let everyone who lives in Zion shout and sing. Israel's holy God is great and he gives, he gives, he lives among his people. Well, when you see this last uh, lesson, verse says that let everyone who lives in Zion shout and sing. Let Israel's holy God and, and sing. Israel's holy God is great. Hallelujah. The God of Israel is our God, is the whole God of our universe. When you speak about Mount Zion, that we are singing praises on Mount Zion, the time when Israel used to sing on Mount Zion in the physical way, it is that time that the Ark of the Covenant 
dwelled in Israel and the presence of God was always there. So today, when we sing praises to God everywhere we go, in our homes, when we are driving, when we are driven, when we are traveling, when we are sailing, when we are flying, when we are ailing, or in a hospital bed, when we are overcoming the bondage or the, or the pain, and we say, God, your word is singing with a that small voice. When we are praising God right there, we are in the spirit of God who is here with us. We are the, the type of Israel upon this planet and is on Mount Zion. Blessed be the name of our King. We are blessing God, the Lord of Mount Zion, and we are praising God in his kingdom. Blessed be the holy name of our Lord and Savior. Blessed be this holy word that is giving us inspiration to worship him the, no, the more. Hallelujah. Well, I believe that most of us watching us around the world, around the globe, are rejoicing with us when we speak about this goodness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It is quite a wonderful thing to have God on our side. When an individual might be asked, what would you like? Hallelujah today. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to all viewers. When, when it comes to meeting authorities, or let me say, you have met a senior somewhere, or a big, or a great person, as we were being spoken to the word of God today at the church, and this, this senior person might be an ambassador, might be a president of a country, and ask you of your needs, what would you tell this individual? What did you tell this person? So, when we speak of the goodness and the workings of God among the living, it is more than visiting a human being, a fellow human being, or a king, or somebody on this planet Earth. When we visit, when we visit the throne of mercy, when we visit God, when we go and seek the face of God in the church, and we are calling upon His name, we receive a divine visitation of His Holy Presence through His Holy Spirit. When the scriptures are read, when the hymns are sing, when the worship is coming forth, then we receive from our God, we receive from our God the power to say the, the need that we have at hand. We receive the power, hallelujah, to overcome the enemy. What a wonderful God is this, who has given us this ability, hallelujah, who has empowered us. To go and present our needs. We tell him of everything that we need. Be it this material things. Be it spiritual things. Be it the, our ailments. In sicknesses or in bounds. Or in custody. Or in hospital bed. We visit this throne of mercy. Of grace. Having such a high priest. Of the, after the order of Melchizedek. Even the Lord. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. is so wonderful that called us. Now I want, I'm, I'm just trying to, 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 to flip through the pages looking for another book to read. Well, you can say that this boy, this young man is not accustomed to these horrid scriptures that I, 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 when I was beginning I said we are growing to the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are learning through, through, through our, our, the spirit of, the, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is helping us and God is helping us through many of many individuals how to reach many souls around the world. Blessed be the name of our King. Well, I can say I am like a student of the Holy One and, and a, a, a student of the Scriptures and that I am going through right now to glorify God who has created us and made us so wonderful. Blessed be the name of our King. Well, referring to my writings here, I wanted to read in the book of Hebrews, chapter number 13. This is the last chapter. And verse 15. It says, Let us then always offer praise to God as our sacrifice through Jesus, which is the offering presented by ribs that confess Him as Lord. Hallelujah. I want to repeat again in the book of Hebrews, 
the 13th chapter, verse number 15. Let us then always offer praise to God as our sacrifice through Jesus, which is the offering presented by ribs, and confess him as Lord. Blessed be the name of our King. So when we sing to Jesus, when we sing praises to our King, whether we are walking on the road, whether we are whistling, whether we are, we are sounding the sounds of praise without mentioning the words, and many individuals know that we are, the, that hymn you, you are touching, or that whistle you are making, and that ringtone that is in your phone, that you have glorifying God in everything and in every way, that you are his worshiper. You are glorifying Jesus Christ. You are giving God a sacrifice that he desires. For the word of God, as I recall, being inspired by the Holy Spirit, says that, God says that, silver and gold I did not desire, or the, the, the sheep, or rams, but to present our bodies a living sacrifice to God. So when we praise God, we are presenting our, God, our bodies to glorify God. Hallelujah. It is like when you go through a fasting, you are denying the desires of this body to have an open heaven, to have an access to heaven, and also to be empowered, desiring to be empowered more to overcome the enemy and to destroy the works of darkness. As we praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we are many runs that we give according to the way God has made us prosper us. What a wonderful God we serve. He's so faithful that called us. It is not in vain to be called to serve God and to praise Him. It is not in vain to, to, say, to believe in Him and to receive salvation. Our God is so faithful and we shall always remember this. Blessed be the name of our King. Well, I want to read another, another verse in the book of uh, uh, in the book of uh, John, Hallelujah, in the book of John, and uh, God helping me, I want I want us to read this passage before I go to some few quotes that were that I took a screenshot from one of my fellow brother and fellow citizen, Pastor David Woyle, so that I continue to glorify the the holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Well, I want to read in the book of uh, John, the Apostle John, the fourth chapter, and the 23rd verse. Hallelujah. The book of John, the Apostle, the fourth chapter, verse number 23. While brothers and sisters watching us and people and neighbors and those who might be, might act in a negative way or another way, I would like to say that we, as we share this good news, we are sharing this good news for us and for you to be defined by this word, to be refined by this word, to be elevated better and to be, to grow more in Christ-like and to be delivered from many ailments and to overcome this other vessel, this body, and the desires and the obstacles of this world to have Christ, more of Christ in us, and to also to portray Christ among the living. It's not in vain, oh my fellow citizen, when we seek the face of God. When we speak, we, we speak righteousness. The word of God tells us that the, the, the more we are given, the more we shall be accounted for before Christ. If you have been given souls to take care of life, I myself, I am a family man, then I, shall, I am answerable. How did you do with the gifts that God gave you? If I come to my fellow saints and all those who I preach to, those who have received Christ through me, and those who come for counsel and for prayers to me, I will be counted uh, accountable to their souls. So, when we speak this word and we share this good news, it is because we, we have such a high calling 
to minister the word of God. When we evangelize, there are many ministers who take care of the souls that we have preached to. When we are prostrating, God gives us the ability to maintain soul. When we are having the apostolic ministry, then God helps people, many people around the world, and gives us many people to serve with the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for His glory and for His honor. Hallelujah to the love of God. Okay, back, back to the Word of God, the book of John, the book of Prophet, the book of the disciple of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Even Apostle John, the fourth chapter and twenty third verse. Well, it's a lady. Hallelujah. But, hallelujah. The time is coming and is already here. Let's be the name of our God. It says, it's said in those days, but the time is coming and is already here. It was already there and it's already here today. When, by the power of God's Spirit, people will worship the Father as He really is. Blessed be the name of our King. Let me repeat again from the beginning. But the time is coming and is already here. When, by the power of God's Spirit, people will worship the Father as He really is. Offering Him the true worship that he did that, that, that he wants or that he deserves. Hallelujah. Our God has not lacked worshipers, neither is he lacking nothing. Without me, God is full, lacking nothing. Without you, my brethren and my fellow citizens, and the fellow people, if you were there, people of God will be created of God. God is not lacking any human being. But God has all in all, and he made his world whole when Christ overcame death, and he was last elected, and now he's in the heavens of heavens. Blessed be the name of our King. When he said that he's going to send unto us a helper, hallelujah, blessed be the name of our King from the Father to come and help us, then it is sure that when we have the Holy Spirit of God, we worship our God in the truth. We worship our Father God in truth and in sincerity. Let me first, let me first quote or let me continue to speak about how is, can we worship God as His story to be worshipped. One thing is that I look at my, myself, my person, my physical being, the, the abilities that God has given me. Then I say, I thank you, God, for creating me fearfully and wonderful. I thank God for creating me in an awesome way. I thank you, Lord, for empowering me. Give me the light in the intellect and the light and the super mind. I thank you, God, for the way you are reading me overcoming. Thank you for giving me growth when I was born as a tiny toddler, a tiny kid, you, got, you did miracles to bring me to here. Then we move, when we move from that level, then we look at our fellow human beings. Then we say, I thank God for that brother. I thank God for that sister. I thank God for my children. I thank God for my fiancé. I thank God for this church. I thank God for the neighborhood. I thank you, God, for the way you've created us, a mass of people, billions of people around the world, uniquely. No one has an identity like another. As we use the fingerprint, the thumb, to identify our identity, that God so quickly, so accurately has he done this all around the world, that there is no one that matches your kind in the, in the, in the thing, in the thumb, or in the print. So God was then the great thing that we say, Lord, I worship you for creating me so awesome, so wonderful, unique. You have powered me with everything that I need. Oh God, I thank you. Thank you for giving me your hand. Hallelujah. When we come to say about the hand, what is the hand of God? My fellow citizens and my brothers and sisters, when we speak about this, 
you find that when we speak about how God is working, how God has done great things, how God has created us wonderfully and powerfully, then we say that he has received help. We say, well, thank you for using my dear sister to reach a hand when I was low. Thank you for giving me a doctor who has treated me and I'm recovering today. Thank you for giving me a faithful child who did not fail me in judgment. Thank you for giving me an advocate who did and brought me through that case. Thank you for giving me security. You've given me powerful men. You've given me a great and mighty army. You've given us our country a powerful leadership. Thank you for the leadership of our country. You've blessed us with, with, with a powerful president. Thank you for helping us, Lord Jehovah. Is it Australia? Is it, is it Russia? Is it Germany? Is it Britain? Is it Asia? Is it China, Korea? Is it India? Is it West, um, uh, West, uh, West, uh, is it America? Is it Canada? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Then we say, thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, Lord, for the way you've done in our life. You have blessed us with people who are glorious. You have blessed us with those of your kind. Well, you say, Lord, that blessed in your word, you tell us that blessed are the peacemakers, for that shall be called the sons of God. Thank you, Lord, for calling me your son, for you have made me to make peace. Thank you, Lord, when I was peaceless, that you sent that sister that shall be called the Son of God. That you, you sent me that brother that shall be called the Son of God. Thank you for giving me that, 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 that fellow saint that shall be called the daughter of Zion. That shall come adorned for the wedding of the Lamb. Thank you, Lord, for giving, us, for giving me much gift that we shall be able to thank God and our God and Maker. Well, I might have spoken in many words, and I, was, I, I just feel inspired for the word of worship. And I decide that we worship God exceedingly great. That when you receive, uh, 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 let me say, when you receive a job, you say, I glorify God in this. I worship you for giving me this employment, for giving me this favor, for passing this interview. Thank you, Lord, for the way you've touched my mind that I become a number one. In, 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 in my institution, in my school, in my academy, academically and personally in everything. I want to thank God for giving me the perfect memory. I bless your holy name. I worship you for giving me this. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the ability to hold the anchor. Thank you, Lord, for, give, for giving me the ability to be humble, to be uplifted for by your holy name. Jehovah God, I thank you and worship you for turning around my life. I thank you, Jehovah, for giving me the spiritual gifts. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the gift of healing. Thank you, Lord, for giving me the gift of prophecy. Thank you, Lord, my fellow brothers and sisters, as we join this together. When you hear this word of God, when you hear this word of God coming from, from his servant, when you hear God saying this word, you say, Hallelujah to Jesus. I thank you for blessing me with the child. I thank you for you made me fatter. Thank you, Lord, for giving me, for you gave me the ability to endure and to overcome sufferings when I've been, been and I've lived in this planet. Child, thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for all the people who have stood with me. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me. That we say that we are not always uh, complaining. We are not always mumbling. But we are seeing the positive life of God that, that God has given us, that God has sustained us. Blessed be the name of our King. Well, when the servants of God come to preach as I do preach, others preach with injuries. If they were to come physically, others you might see that there's some arrows who are crossing, which are crossing this side and the other side. Some others swords, some others are being cut into twine. Some others are being... Uh, Cut into small pieces, but the, 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 the remaining act of the gospel is, and the word of God is that which we minister, is that which heals our wounds, is that which that destroys the enemy, that, that gives us the strength and the faith to believe that we are going to conquer. We have families that are lacking. We might have a child that is lacking. We might have a disabled child in the house. And, I'm still, and we are still saying God is faithful and God is powerful. We are still glorifying God in this so that the, our crowns will shine more. So God has found us that, that he has found these servants that are so faithful to the end without pay, with, with pain or with anything. They still have a rejoicing thing. They are seeing the kingdom of God. Now they are seeing the richness that the enemy cannot see. They are seeing the God being faithful. They are saying, trusting God for the, his faithfulness. They are praying God. They are calling upon heaven. They are worshiping God, praising him for he is faithful. Now the word of the world, God says, in the book of Job, Job said that when he was in suffering, he said that I shall see God 
among the living, not in the, the elevated body or when we, we go to heaven, but it is today in his into sweetness from every to rejoicing that God is doing so to his servants. God is doing, doing, doing so to his children. My brother, my sister, if you are suffering like now, God is, has a better testimony for you. My fellow citizens, if you believe in Jesus Christ today and receive him as your personal savior, your life will never be the same again. You will find a reason for serving him. You will find a reason for believing in Christ. You will see Christ in reality, practically in your life. We have got testimonies that are so powerful and physical and tangible. We preach a God that you can touch. We preach a God who can touch us. We preach a God who touches us. We preach a God who visits us, who speaks to us. We don't preach a God that is dumb or an idol that is made of gold or timber or stone or a piece of wood or a piece of grain. But we call upon God who made everything permanent, everything perfect. He created us fearfully and wonderful to glorify his holy name among the living. Blessed be the name of our King. I had mentioned about some quotes uh, that uh, my fellow brother had, had, had shared on social media and I ha happened to have screenshot them for they inspired me according to the way that God works and the way we should, deal, we should see or perceive our God and maker, Jesus Christ. This is, it is quite an, a while. My name, hallelujah, by name. First or labyrinth, David Wawele, hallelujah, blessed be the name of our king. Isn't it wonderful to have a revelation and to have servants of God who care, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It says, it says about the adventure of life, I'm reading as it is written, the adventure of life is to learn, hallelujah. That the adventure of life, it can be a greater topic that can take even hours when I would minister about these few, few quotes that are here. The adventure of life is to learn. So when you run, you run the good, the positive things and to overcome the negative things. Even though the, about the positive things and negative things is not written, the rhyme stands at the adventure of life is to run. Second. The purpose of life is to grow. So when we run, when we study the word of God, when we learn through life, when we learn through social media, the learning, the way of overcoming obstacles, we grow, but we don't stand there. We don't reach stagnant, but we grow from that level to another level to glorify God, to make our gifts that God has given us shine for his glory, that our crowns, crowns will shine forevermore. Okay, the nature of life is to change. So if I am alive today and I don't change for the better, I don't change to glorify my maker, then I lack. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our king. I like to be, to be qualified in this nature. But when I move that way, God is going to help me even to live a purpose life. Blessed be the name of our King. The challenge of life is to overcome. So most of us has been challenged here and there to overcome obstacles, to, over to overcome relationships, to overcome the ailments, all the, the challenges that we find in, in our workplaces, in our society, in our neighborhood, in the political warfare, welfare and so on. We've, we fail to overcome. So when God gives us the ability to overcome, then we shall not live a challenged. We shall not be like handicapped people. We shall be a free and whole nation, saving many, saving and encouraging each other for the glory and honor of the Lord our King. Okay, then it says the essence of life is to care. So when, if I don't care, I would not come and preach this gospel. I would not share this, share this good news with nobody. 
I'll be selfish and wicked. But because I care, I study the word of God, I pray, then share. The goodness that God has put in me is not mine, it is to be given. Oh, that the word of God says that I have finished my race. As one of the apostles said, I have run the race and I have finished. How wonderful that one would say or the other would say that I never died having not given what God has put in my heart. I have shared everything, every word that God gave me. It's not mine, it is for us. Blessed be the name of our King. So, it says, the essence of life is to care. Be caring, my fellow brothers, my fellow citizens, my fellow readers, my fellow security men, my fellow soldiers. Hallelujah. My fellow running people, may you always be calling and caring in this essence of life, purposely living. Okay, the secret of life is to dare. In most instances, other people have been bound or have been anchored somewhere or they have been buried under the sea. But all that God will cut these stains and these bones of the enemy. Oh, one that is hidden in the, in, in the grave morning or in hell, the, the chains be broken. For the word of God says that he has broken the chains all over in Savior Jesus Christ. When he went and overcame death, overcame hell, and also he broke the, uh, the oracles and the obstacles of Satan, no one can be bound forever, not unless one individual binds himself. So when you receive, and when I receive this word of God, hallelujah, I be a person, hallelujah, who is daring. And I say, I'm moving from here to there. I'm overcoming this obstacle in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Then it says, the spice of life is to befriend. So, if I want life to be good and better, then I will spice it. Hallelujah. I will spice it with making friendship. First of all, when I am a friend of Christ, then I will desire many to become his friend, the, the friends of Jesus Christ, the friends of God. If I have been made rich by God, my desire and my will is to make friends to be made rich. Hallelujah. If I have received peace and joy, my desire is to reach that soul that he may receive peace and joy. Hallelujah. Joy that is overcoming. Blessed be the name of our King. Well, and the beauty of life is to give. When I give love, I will be loved. When I give material things, I receive them more. Ah, blessed be the name of our King. When I give a joyful fight, a, a, a joyful shout, then a overwhelming joy will come upon the the, 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 the fellow people we are in the house, all the fellow audience, they will uproar, they give an applause of laughter and shouting. The joy that I benefit will be more than the rejoicing that I gave. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our King. When I gave life to individual who was dying, then I would be so empowered in this life. So I desire that that individual would reach where I am and to be as a ray of Christ. How God has made my crown to shine. I will desire my fellow citizens, my fellow brothers and sisters to shine forevermore. Blessed be the name of our King. Hallelujah. Then the rejoicing of life is to love. God himself says that he is love. So when I actualize, when I practice love, when I love the unlovable, when I move forgiving many, when I humble myself towards for forgiveness, then love is being manifested. Then God is being manifested. Then the kingdom of God is being manifested. His glorious kingdom has come upon planet earth. It is being in us, it is being his essence. Holy Spirit is reigning in abundance, the hearing in abundance. He 
healing the heart diseases, healing the ulcers, healing the her mental sick, mental illness, depression, mental handicap, delivering many and serving them to Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. What a wonderful God we serve. Blessed be the name of our God and King who has brought us, brought us to this end. Blessed be the name of the Lord who gives us salvation that is so rich and free. My brothers and sisters who are watching us on Facebook Live and those who watch on YouTube, I want to say that you may, say, you may pass my greetings to anyone you find and say that this, bro this brother has greeted you. I'm greeting each and every one that these greetings can live for many years that I desire to share our love and tell them that the servant of God is online and they will tell them that surely they will never lack his goodness. Well, if an individual is willing to receive Christ, well, I be willing and be confident that you will be saved forevermore. Are you ailing in a hospital bed? Are you wandering in prison custody? Are you watching us through YouTube TV? If you have a screen that has, it, it has been empowered with this YouTube channel, it is quite wonderful. God is bringing us somewhere where the technology is coming and finance is coming that the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ richly reaches you, reaches many. Be willing to share, be willing to save, be willing, be willing to put it in your SD cards and so on and, and your flash disks that to put this, to be repeating this word that is life and it shall speak to you newly every morning that your lives will never be the same. May you be willing to minister this word, to preach this gospel to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is not a sin to repeat this message or to like this, this, this chapters and these verses and pray and call pray to God to heaven to lead you and inspire them more to preach this God gospel. It is very free to share and very free to follow. In Jesus' great and mighty name, I want to thank you. I want to pray to God so that he may touch many souls at our ailing in sicknesses on who those who want to receive our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ is a uh, nearly wind. Father, I thank you for your care, for your grace, for your power. Thank you for the way you have given us this word. Thank you for inspiring me, your servant, Lord God, for the way that is beyond human understanding and wisdom. Oh Lord, it is not according to my curriculum level or my academic level. Lord, when I was very low in acad academically, you have brought me to your college and your school and you have made me to qualify for your word and your gospel. I want to thank you, Jehovah, for you have touched many souls and saved many souls and delivered many. I do pray, Lord Father, that anyone that is under this voice of your Holy Spirit that is using me, that this individual receive healing in Jesus' name. He is suffering from many sickness. Is it the ulcers or hyperpressure or the heart disease? May you, Lord, Father, heal many. May you touch many and deliver them. Deliver and heal many relationships. Be it, be it any marriage that the enemy is trying. I do pray that you touch each and every child, even my children that might be suffering here and there, and deliver our children from all hell or along the world of God, Father, those who are under and the drugs and the bondage of the Satan. I rebuke the enemy and the son of the earth and announce him powerless and also overcome him and bind his powers forever that he shall not come against any of our children who of anybody who believes in this prayer. In Jesus' great and mighty name, I pray and thank you, trusting and believing. Amen and amen. Asante sana, asante sana, karibu katika runinga ya Exodus 20 TV. Ila hali si mungine, ila nitumishi wa mungu kwa rehema charamonene. I take nobody for granted. It is by the grace of God. It's known other than the servant of God by grace. Pastor Jaram. Many people... They start to call me so, and as call me bishop, you know the word of God says that his gifts and callings are without repentance. God does not change his word, never changes. Human changes, and but God never changes. Blessed be the name of our king, Karibu Sana, Karibu Sana, Katika Runinga Zetu.